Hey, what's up? It's your boy Sin. <coughs> Smoking on that fire. You listen to the hood. <coughs> you listening to the hood news on the hood on lock. Man, that Cali weed is the best. If you don't know, you know. But yeah, Snoopy that. <coughs> Oh shit. You know, we keep it real West Coast, real, real over here. But anyway, West Coast rapper Snoopy Badass decided to get some shit off his chest. He spoke on the situation with Slim 400, where he basically said he saw that nigga get hands put on him, his chain snatched, and now saying that the nigga mad at him for it. <coughs> I'm going to play the video, let y'all watch it. Then when I come back, I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about it. What's happening? What's happening? Snoopy here, Snoopy here. Look, I want to say something real quick, my nigga. And I want to make this clear to y'all. You feel me? One thing about me, my nigga, I give everybody respect when I first meet them. You catch what I'm saying, my nigga? Like, beyond the rap shit, fuck the rap shit, my nigga. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about no crib shit. I don't give a fuck about no paru shit, nigga. You feel me? I deal with everybody, you know what I'm saying, accordingly, my nigga, and I'm cordial with everybody. So I don't just never walk into a situation and say, man, I'm not going to like this nigga or I'm going to beef with this nigga. I'm not that type of nigga. You feel me? You know, And I want to clear that up before I say what I'm going to say. And I got a lot to say, homie. You feel me? Slim 400, my nigga. Let me tell y'all how, how I first encountered Slim 400, my nigga. You feel me? Of course, I already knew who he was on the rap shit. You understand what I'm saying, my nigga? I already knew who the nigga was. You feel me? So, when I dropped the intro or whatever, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? My manager at the time, he got me a show, you know, on, on you feel me? At, it was a Slim 400 show. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, all right, I agreed to do it. You feel me? Um, Slim was there. You know what I'm saying, my nigga, and all his little artists, whatever, you feel me, you know, me and Slim got cool after that, you know what I'm saying, everything was legit, you feel what I'm saying, he came to me, he said, yeah, I heard about the four phase you ran, I respect that, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, they say you got your ass whooped, my nigga, but nigga, I respect that you put up and you did that, you feel me, I was like, for sure, you know what I'm saying, everything was good, you feel me, a toy drive took place, you know what I'm saying, in Compton, you feel me? And uh, we, what year is this? I think it was like 2000, yeah, 2018, 2018. You feel me? The big home girl, Sifia Nunn, threw a toy drive. You know what I'm saying? When she threw the toy drive, you know, me and my manager at the time, we hit Slim 400. And we asked Slim 400, we like, hey, do you want to come to this toy drive, my nigga? He never responded to our DM. So at this time, you know what I'm saying, when me and my homie was at the toy drive, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to the homie from Fruits. You know what I'm saying? And Sif 100 just pull up out of nowhere. You feel me? You know? When he pull up out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? First thing I'm thinking is, I'm like, damn, why this nigga didn't tell us that he was going to pull up? You know, you know, his enemies is up here or whatever, you know? But the nigga pull up, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I tell the nigga, like, hey, your enemies right here. I see him, his manager, and a certain female rapper in the back of the car. I'm not going to put her name out there because I don't know if she want to be involved in this situation. I tell Slim, nigga, I'm like, hey, you know, Emmy's right there. And my homie, Brady Joe from Village Town, he tell him too, like, hey, ooh. So I'm like, I don't worry about that shit. I ain't worry about these niggas. Look, look, you know, cocky. You feel me? He ended up jumping out the car. When he jump out the car, and the homie from Fruits get on him, nigga. You feel me? Walk up to him, nigga. Say something to him. Slim 400, say something back. Nigga, fire on him. Bang. First thing I'm thinking, like, okay, is his manager going to get out the car and help him? His manager stayed in the car. 
feel me? So I get in between him and the homie from Fruits, and I put the homie from Fruits back like, damn, my nigga, you tripping. This is a toy drive. I had Slim back, my nigga, you feel me? Because I'm not from Treetop, homie, you feel me? And they, they, they enemies ain't my enemies, but I just felt like, you know, I had to help Slim just based off the fact that my nigga that, you feel me? On some rap shit, like, damn, I'm not going to let y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let y'all just, you feel me? I'm not going to let y'all just, you know what I'm saying? Kill this nigga, you feel me? But to this day, I wish I would have just let this nigga get on this nigga, you feel me? So I got in between, I break it up. I'm like, Slim, you straight? You know what I'm saying? The homie, from, big homie from Ludus Park, get the other nigga, push him on about his whip. But the other nigga was turned. The other nigga's a real nigga. Like, he wanted his issue. Slim didn't want his issue, bro. Slim just got chipped in the shoulder. I got in I got chipped in the jaw. I got in between it, my nigga. When I got in between it, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Slim was like, tree top, tree top. Got in his car, drove, then left. He left, my nigga. Like, he didn't try to fight or nothing. So I'm calling Slim. I'm like, hey, my nigga, like, what's up, nigga? He, he like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You feel me? Right after that, nigga, you feel me? This nigga go to, he, this nigga, Slim, go to track New Parkhood to go see somebody. I don't, I really don't know. But he bump into the same nigga. Y'all remember the fade that I remember the, my, my full face? Remember the last fade that they recorded me getting my ass whooped when it was everywhere? Well, that same nigga seen Slim and press Slim. But the difference between me and Slim's situation is Slim got his chains took this day, my nigga. You catch what I'm saying? And, and I don't know what, what Baby Black approached Slim about, but what I'm thinking is it probably was about me because Slim was supporting me or whatever. But the nigga Baby Black pulled up. Pressed the nigga, beat him up, stashed his chains, did all that, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? From that moment forward, Slim 400 been acting funny with me, my nigga. Like, nigga, this nigga just, this nigga just act like, it's like, he mad at me because he got his ass whooped, my nigga, because he couldn't stand his motherfucking ground, nigga. And, and Compton know I'm not lying. Compton know the truth, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, my nigga, it's a lot of whole shit going on, my nigga. Nigga mad at me because he couldn't stand his own as a motherfucking gangster. Then his punk-ass manager is all in promoters' DMs and shit, telling them, oh, don't book Snoopy, don't book Snoopy. Like, my thing is this, my nigga. Like, why y'all so mad at me, my nigga? You feel me? And the only reason I'm saying something to you buster-ass niggas is because y'all got y'all little peons jumping on my motherfucking post speaking, and I know they only speaking because y'all telling them to. So we're going to put it all out there, my nigga. I don't fuck with them buster-ass niggas, my nigga, and that's why. These niggas is fake as fuck, my nigga. Feel me? I didn't have to have Slim back that day, my nigga. I could have mind my own business, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Only for this nigga to start acting like a little bitch. Straight up, my nigga. I don't fuck with that nigga. And I also don't fuck with niggas that give whole statements on TMZ, my nigga. That's like telling, bitch-ass nigga. Straight up, nigga. So while y'all niggas want to jump on my motherfucking post and put threats out and all that, nigga, yeah, I got my ass whooped, but guess what? I didn't get my chains taken, though, my nigga. Dead homies, nigga. You feel me? And everybody in Compton that was at there that day know I'm telling the truth, my nigga. What kind of reason to lie on you bitch-ass niggas? We know the truth, my nigga. Snoopy. Well, damn. That nigga Snoopy badass got a whole lot off his chest just now. Well, I hope this leads to some bars. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have enough violence with Corona. We didn't have enough violence in hip hop. So hopefully, <clears throat> at the most, if anything, the shit just leads to some tight tracks, some tight bars, or nothing. Maybe he just needed to get that shit off his chest. Well, you know what it is. It's your boy Slim. <clears throat> I said your boy Slim, nigga. You know I smoke too much. <laughs> it's your boy Sin. <laughs> this is the Hood News. Are you watching the Hood on Lock? Till next time.